Hello and welcome to Ultrasound Quick Lectures by RNA Blue Sono World. My name is Alain Fernandez and today I'm going to briefly talk about the receiver functions. All right, as you guys know, we have the transducer here, okay, with the crystals, all right, and those crystals are connected to a computer that we call the beamformer, which is responsible for time delays, okay? So these crystals are going to uh, receive electricity through the channels in here, and that electricity will be converted into sound, so that sound is going to go out, okay? And it will come back as an echo, all right, that echo is going to hit the crystals one more time and uh, the crystals are going to produce a low voltage electricity that will be moved to the receiver okay and then the receiver is going to be responsible for five main functions and those are in the following order, we have amplification, that's number one. Then we have compensation, then number three we have compression All right. number four we have demodulation and then number five we have rejection so those five functions are going to basically optimize your picture and give you this high quality that you're looking for. Today I'm going to talk real quick about the amplification and in further lectures I will go over compensation, compression, the modulation and rejection. So in order to understand amplification I would love to move to my screen what I have my machine connected. So let's take a look to this in here. So this is my machine in here. Okay. And let's talk about amplification real quick. Okay, so what is amplification? Amplification is just applying more voltage, all right, um, to the signal, and that will be done by the receiver. But do you amplify the signal? when you adjust the overall gain, okay? All right, so here, let me optimize this depth so you can see this better. Okay, right in here. Okay, now I want you to take a look to this where my pointer is, it says gain 66. That's basically the amplification level that I have right now. Does the overall gain 66 and see what's going to happen right now when I increase the overall gain it's in 66 so one more time take a look to this 66 where my pointer my pointer is and then go this way 75 to 91 and then a hundred and a hundred and ten then I go go over more I will go over more and then more. Okay. So 255 in there. See my whole picture now it's brighter. 
That's what the overall gain is going to do. Basically, it's going to make your picture completely brighter. Okay, from top to bottom, completely brighter. Or if I go this way down, look at the gain right now. I'm decreasing it. Then uh, your picture is going to go completely dark at this time. So in the further lectures, I will talk about the time gain compensation, which is going to make something similar, but by depth. All right, you can adjust the brightness at different depths. And the compression, which is basically the dynamic range, is related to the dynamic range. And it basically changes the shades of grays in your picture, looking for more or less contrast. And thank you. That was it for today. And keep connected for next lectures. I think uh, this is going to be for great help. So I wish you very beautiful day.